Fibonacci's rabbit problem, numbers in nature. This is Leonardo of Pisa, also known as Fibonacci, a mathematician who learnt, lived during the Middle Ages. He was born in Pisa, Italy, where the famous Leaning Tower of Pisa was built. When Fibonacci was a boy, the Roman numerals were the number system that was in use in Italy. But as a boy, he used to travel with his father, who was a merchant, to faraway places. And one of the places that they traveled to was Africa. In Africa, they learned of a new number system called the Arabic numbers, which are the numbers that we use today. And Fibonacci was so taken with Arabic numbers that he wrote a book called Liber Abaci, the Book of Counting. And in this book, he really wanted to teach his Italian friends how to use the Arabic numbers. But because he knew that people don't really like change, Fibonacci decided to fill his book with a lot of riddles and puzzles, recreational math problems that would be solved using the new number system. He thought that would interest his people enough to learn the new numbers. One of the problems is the rabbit problem, and uh, this problem involves a pair of rabbits. And so suppose that on January 1st, a pair of rabbits are just born, and one is a male and the other is a female. And for the sake of this problem, a pair of rabbits one month old are too young to produce baby rabbits. So if they're born on January 1st, then on February 1st they're exactly one month old, so they have not produced any baby rabbits. Now in this problem, when they are old enough to produce rabbits, they always produce rabbits in pairs, a pair of a male and a female. So here's how the rabbit problem goes. A pair of rabbits, one month old, are too young to produce baby rabbits. But suppose that in their second month, and every month after that, they produce a new pair of rabbits. So notice there was one pair of rabbits alive on January 1st, the original pair. On February 1st, it was still the one pair of rabbits that were alive. But by March 1st, they had produced their first pair of offspring. So on March 1st there's two pairs of rabbits. And suppose that each new pair of rabbits does the same. And in this fictional problem we must also suppose that the rabbits never die. So this just perpetuates over and over again. So the problem that we want you to solve is how many pairs of rabbits will there be at the beginning of each month? So the answer to this problem will be a sequence of numbers, which actually has significance in nature. These numbers can be seen in nature. It's called the Fibonacci sequence, and it came about from this rabbit problem. So have, have fun solving it.